create a new sprite, name her the player. Uh, let's just create a smaller circle. Just kind of like some kind of skin color. Um, let's give him some eyes. Yeah, so those two lines are his eyes. So now let's go down to his coding. So I've it flag licked. Oh, actually, no, just forever. Point towards mouth launcher, then uh, key W breast. Move one steps. As I, yeah, I raise it on. Cool. Now create another sprite, call it walls. Oops, walls. Okay, now in this new sprite, make a black box, convert to bitmap. Duplicate it. Make it a bit smaller, like that small. Now make it a different color, like blue. Now copy, paste, and get rid of it. Now let's uh, draw some rules in here, okay? So let's so like 50. Um, so like, oh. Uh, oh. 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 Sweet. So let's go ring flag flipped. Wherever I go, uh, go to back there. And go to X1, 0. Just in case. Now appear in this front, call this one in. Oops. Uh, uh, let's just copy our one by our flip and paste them in there. Let's just make him, you know, different calls in open and Sue. Let's make him, uh, let's just make him, uh, no reason from being black. Except for the statistics. Anyways. So, and flag clicked. How does it point? Hide. And show. Repeat. Uh, change that to two. Create one of twelve for myself. Um, now create a variable called enemy counter. There's another one called enemy ID. Set enemy counter to zero. Change enemy counter by one. Set enemy ID to enemy counter. Move further. Just place it there. Come back to that. Create a new list. Enemy X. Enemy Y. Enemy direction. When I clicked, delete full of enemy X, enemy Y, enemy direction. Here, yeah. wait zero seconds. Um, the reason why we have this wait zero seconds, actually, hold on. Add. Uh, I'm going to add, change that one to X, Y, X, Y. Cool. So the reason why we have a wait zero seconds here is because this script that we made here also runs at the same time as this one. So what that means is that when this one deletes all of, right, X, Y, and direction, this one is also creating those lists. So what actually happens is this one creates a list, and then that one, this one here, deletes it. So as we have this wait zero seconds, so that way we can wait for this one to finish its job. And you might be wondering, why zero seconds? Why not make it like one or zero point one seconds? Uh, it's because zero seconds is still a delay in there, and that's what you need, right? Just make it fast. So now forever, replace, duplicate, um, duplicate, change this one to X, change this one to Y, and again, it's respected values. So X position, Y position, and add on enemy ID, enemy ID, enemy ID. So I have already got a video explaining how this enemy ID, uh, these variables work, um, for clones. Uh, yeah, so if you don't understand this and you want to find out, just check out my video. should be somewhere on my YouTube channel. Now moving on. We need to create a new variable called wall laser. Now, let's make this laser red. Yeah, now zoom in a little bit. Come in here. And I think, I think that's, that's good for the first costume. Now duplicate this costume and extend it out a little bit. Do that again. And do it again. Do it again. Okay, so yeah, just repeat this process. Okay, so we've repeated that process till we've gotten up to costume 22. Well, that's how far I've gone. Basically, what we need to do is just make enough costumes that the laser reaches to pretty much the end. Um, the more laser costumes you have, um, the more sensitive this will be. 
the less uh, means the more faster it will be, but the less sensitive it will be. So, um, yeah, you know, you could just stick to 16 lasers, costumes, that could work as well. You know, like I said, if you want it faster, it'll just be a little bit less sensitive. Probably doesn't matter at all. Just make sure that it goes to the, the very edge. Okay. Now, point of flight clicked. Oh, also, I'm just bringing this to wall laser. Now, in flight click, hide. When I'm as as a form, done. Now, make a variable. Call this one wall laser ID. Set wall laser ID to enemy counter. Wherever, go to x0, y0, point in direction. Item of enemy x, enemy y. Enemy direction. Now apply the wall laser ID to um, all of these. Right now, what we should see. Um, oh yeah. So create a clone of wall laser as well. Okay. Now do this. See that the lasers go to the black phase. It follows them and points in the direction. Now, so I'm just adding a point on the right here. Okay. Now let's go down here and let's start wind flag click forever. If, uh, if touching wall, um, and costume number not equal, not equal one, then switch costume. Minus one. Uh, also, question number there. Yeah. Uh, put this touching walls in there and put it in there. Now duplicate, oh, oops. Uh, duplicate this and add in a knot and put that inside of the touching walls inside of the knot and put the knot inside of there. Now change this to costume 22. So change this to 22. So just change that to the amount of costumes of lasers you have and replace this. Oh, actually. Do that for me. So change this minus to a, uh, oh crap, to a plus, plus one. Cool. Now have a look at this. Um, if it wants to work, of course. Oh yes, uh, W retarded like me. And in a, when I start as clone and put the forever loop inside of there, get rid of that one flag. Okay, so you'll see these black guys. See that? The laser extends out. Okay, isn't that fancy? So put them up really close and, okay, cool. So let's go back to it. Um, the wall laser. Now I come down here and go when I decide to clone forever. F house. Um, I'll make a new list called forest. Yeah. Go to the enemy. Add a um, first of all. Right here. First of all. Cool. I come here and go uh, touching no, no. costume number. Oops. Custom number less than three. Replace wall laser ID. Uh, custom wall with one. And we change this one to zero. So here we start this. Uh, let's put one of these black guys really close to a wall. Um, okay, it's meant to be. Okay, yeah, see that? Let's put him a little bit closer and now he responds with one. So let's just remove that now. Now go to the enemy. Come down here. I'm going to start as a pilot. Reverse. Um, move one, move two steps. Okay, cool. So then let's just go here and let's add in a earth mouse. Put that inside of there. Go to a item one of close to the wall. Change that with enemy ID equals one. No, 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 equals zero. Can you come here? Go over six. Turn. Okay, so that should be 90. Let me just make sure. Six. Okay, yeah, that's 90. So uh, come down here. Boom. Now, oh, you flag up a lot. Oh, yep. Ah, there you go. Carry your jabs. That one's falling down. Oh, it's Rubia. Oh, great. Right. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, cool. So, as you can see here, the um, the black dudes they are moving around the map, kind of. Uh, they're not so. They're not really uh, exploring, so what we should do is come down here and go to it else. Pick random. Wanted two equals two, not equals one. 
ก็จะเป็นเนาะอ่ากดดับลงเจอรีพีทบอร์ดดูเองรีพีทนี่ก็เลยฟิฟเทนกดดับลงเนาะโอ้โหหนาวเลยอ่าเดี๋ยวจะได้ว่าจิตรารามมาเชื่อไหมยังไงเราฟิกซ์มันเซลส์ในเชื่อไหมยับโซ่ในเราเดินไปรวม Depending on your game, you might want to uh, to make the walls a little bit closer to each other. You know what I mean? Anyways, now the, we want to create another laser, and let's make this one called Flare Laser. So this laser will detect the flare. Now let's come in here and let's just change all the colors to green. So green, 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 green. Green, 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 green. Now let's come down here and go back to the uh, the enemy smaller. Put this idea go down here and add in a a uh, oh yeah, add in a play laser. Cool. Now what we want to do is create a new list called touching layer. Now let's uh, go down here touching layer. Sweet. And entertain. Now let's get rid of that. And with this one, if you want to do that, I just did replace this one with touching player. Enter view. And change this one to touching player. Touching player. And yeah, it should be good. So let's just change, rename this one to player. You know, I just throw this out in the future. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about creating a new one because the when this variable here, this variable is actually a uh, private variable, which means that when you duplicate the sprite that it belongs to, um, it'll actually just duplicate itself. It won't matter. So you don't have to make a new one. Um, also, now get rid of this point in direction. Do a point towards um, player. Okay, cool. So now these lasers point towards the player. Um, and they, uh, they kind of work like vision, you know what I mean? So, when me and the enemy, um, uh, have a wall between us, the green laser can't touch us. So the green laser doesn't, or the enemy doesn't see us, right? So, yeah, pretty cool. Now, we want to go down to the enemy. And, um, where would I go? Oh, yes, okay, so I've got another pair of pulse. And go here. Um, uh, player, we should really rename that to seeing player. Alright, okay, so, seeing player. So, no one equals zero. So let's put, so put this original script that we have, and we'll put it in the top one. Now at the bottom, we want to point towards player. Point towards player, move, uh, four steps, right? So that needs to be, oh crap, that's pretty fast. Okay, let's just keep it, you know, let's just, Change the original speed to one, and you know, okay, well, let's just make them both one, so we can run away. You know, okay, we seem to be a lot faster. Three. Okay, so you see this? Now hunting us now. Now they can't see us, and they're back to um scanning, you know, like moving around. You see? Um, yeah. So what we need to do now is kind of make these lasers invisible because they're, they're not like not very nice to look at. So set ghost effect to ninety eight just to be safe. Duplicate this. Uh, I'll put that in the red one, the red laser. Yeah, I forgot the other one. Okay, so see that? We, uh, and, well, the laser isn't still visible on screen, so we can just change this to 19. Then, this is pray that makes sense. Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll just test out 100. Yeah, I'll put that still works though. Um, okay, yep, it still works. Okay, yep, no problem at all. So these uh the black dudes, you know, they um even with their lasers invisible, you know, like I can't really see them, they work. So that's cool. Um now what you might want to do is add some collision to your player or whatever you're trying to make in your game. So there's a proper way of doing um pathfinding, which is what we're doing here for these black dudes. Um there's a proper way Griff Cash has a video on it, but this is for people that can't be bothered going through that or think it might be a bit too complicated. Um this is just something I found out one day and I thought, you know what, I can probably use this for well, pathfinding, yeah. So let's just go out and if you go to the enemy. You can actually make this 15. You'll see that. 
So that's a lot of black guys. Now they, uh, they split out, blah, blah, blah. Now you'll see now. That's not too good. Um, but yeah, so the problem uh, with this technique is that it uses uh, a lot of clones. So it uses about two clones per, per black guy. And that's not good because it can make the game a little bit laggy. But anyways, hopefully this suits your project. Uh, thank you for watching.